More than two thirds of people with pancreatic cancer become unable to produce enzymes that help them digest food. This is a condition called pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, known as PEI. If this effectively causes the body to starve. PEI can be successfully treated with simple tablets called pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy, known as PERT. However, because the current method of testing is inaccurate, PEI often goes undiagnosed. The team at Birmingham hope to find a way to diagnose PEI much quicker by measuring levels of metabolites, uh, these are substances produced when you digest food, and comparing these between people with pancreatic cancer and people with normal enzyme function. If successful, this data will help develop a simple, same-day test that could diagnose PEI much earlier and ensure people with pancreatic cancer are given the correct dose of PERT to help them effectively digest food and ultimately live better and longer lives. It's a big issue for people with pancreatic cancer. More than 80% have abdominal pain related to their enzyme insufficiency. Over 75% have troublesome diarrhea from it. Nearly 70% experience significant weight loss and 65% experience bloating. We also find that people have significant effects from their enzyme insufficiency, like osteoporosis, increased fractures, increase in heart um, trouble and muscle wasting. Most significantly, perhaps, is that enzyme insufficiency is associated with shorter survival uh, for people with pancreatic cancer. The best test for enzyme insufficiency is one where we have to collect a uh, stool for five days. This is quite unpleasant for patients and lab staff and is no longer practiced. There are easier methods, but these are not particularly accurate and they cannot be used to um, measure how well the enzymes are working or guide the treatment that is needed. The reason we need a new diagnostic test is to make it quick and easy and more pleasant to diagnose enzyme insufficiency. So we will be taking blood samples from healthy patients and those with exocrine insufficiency and we'll be measuring those products of digestion after a fatty meal. The theory is that in those with enzyme problems, you'll eat the fatty meal, you won't be able to digest it properly, and therefore the products of digestion won't be present in your blood. Whereas for those that have healthy enzyme function, you'll take a fatty meal, be able to digest it well, and the products of digestion will be present in the blood fairly rapidly. This will hopefully give us a diagnostic test that we could use after a fatty meal that's easy to take with a finger prick blood test, hopefully, and would give us a measure of the enzyme function. Not just a yes, no answer if they have enzyme insufficiency, but a how bad the enzyme insufficiency is and whether we're able to treat it and how much treatment you need to bring it in line with normal. So this way of looking at pancreatic cancer and digestion is completely new. There has never been a study of the small products digestion or the metabolites associated with enzyme insufficiency. Our first step is to do the basic science, which is this study. The next step, we'll be able to try and turn this into a working test that can be rolled out within the NHS. Um, this would hopefully be a point of care test, which means one that could be done relatively rapidly um, within primary care or even at home rather than one that takes time, effort and a lot of money and has to be done within a, a hospital setting.